Andy dito, no? Pati yung salita ko, ako na ba? Buti. Buti, hindi gusto natin, kumain na kayo. Something like that. Anyway, good morning sa inyo lahat. Good morning. How are you? Sabi mo sa katabi mo, good morning sa'yo. Okay, tinan mo kung maaliwaalas ang mukha niya, o parang hindi mapinta. You know, last week when we started this series, and by the way, our series is entitled Declarations of Hope, and uh, I just realized how relevant itong, ano na to, itong uh, series na to, just this week, kasi immediately after starting this series, nagkaroon ng, uh, you know, mga ilang pangyayari. First of all, ewan ko kung nagbabasa kayo o nakikinig kayo ng mga news, no? There was this incident sa Texas, okay? Merong isang church sa isang, you know, uh, lugar somewhere doon, sa malapit kila Brother Cheng. Uh, isang church na maliit, and they were worshiping the Lord and all of that. Suddenly, there's this gunman na ewan ko sa nangyari at anong pumasok sa isip niya. He went there and started shooting everybody. And, uh, you know, to make the long story short, ang dami pong namatay uh, through that particular incident. No? Kaya, you know, sabi ko sa sarili ko, grabe, no? Nag-worship ka lang, nakikinig ka lang ng word of God. Who would ever thought na yun na pala yung winning oras mo, no? Okay, so pantayin niyo mga pintuan. Uh, make sure na walang papasok dyan na merong machine gun or anything like that. Um, and then, uh, also, after that incident naman, y- yung kotse ko naman, nabangga. And luma ng habi ng gapa. I mean, di ba? Pwede ba piliin yung magagandang kotse dyan, yung nabibanggain nila. But y- yung kotse ko pa na luma, yun pa yung nabangga. At hindi lang nabangga, uh, the following day, uh, nahihirapan na siyang umandar. Okay? So, ano na siya? Kung baga, na, parang nananawagan na at sinasabi na sa akin, pabayaan mo na ako magpahinga. <laughs> so, right now, yung kotse ko nakaparari dyan sa labas at kanina dumating ako, nakita ko na flat yung gulong. Sabi ko, yes! Ano kaya ang susunod na mangyayari? Okay? So, flat naman yung gulong. Ay, hindi ko alam kung uh, yun ay dahil, uh, you know, lumambot lang or baka may butas or whatever. And, uh, you know, just a few days ago, sinurprise naman ako ng uh, aking anak at sabi niya, Daddy, kailangan na magbayad ng tuition fee. <laughs> sabi ko, Lord, declarations of hope. <laughs> Now, I don't know about you. Siguro may mga pinagdaraanan din kayo sa buhay, right? I'm sure. And, and so, naniniwala ako na relevant and appropriate sa atin lahat ito. That we should talk about hope uh, this month. Okay? And uh, don't lose hope. So, sabi mo sa katabi mo, don't lose hope. Okay? Kahit ano pa yon, kahit na may kinalaman sa itsura mo, don't lose hope. Okay? <laughs> uh, maliban na lang if it's something talaga na ano na. Okay? But don't lose hope. Uh, we're talking about this passage and we're trying to understand what it means sa buhay natin. This is our key verse, okay, for this series. 1 Peter 3.15. And once again, just to, you know, parang train our memory, you know, ability to remember. Recite natin muli ito one more time, okay? First Peter 3:15, ready? One, go, okay? Always be prepared to give an answer to everyone who asks you to give the reason for the hope that you have. One more time, dinala natin kung kaya natin basahin to sige. This time medyo may power na konti, yung parang medyo parang buhay kayo. Sabi mo sa katabi mo, kunyari buhay ka. Okay. All right, so First Peter 3:15. Ready? Set, go. Wow, excellent. So let's try it without the projector, okay? Sige po. So, say to the person beside you, recite to one at a time, you know, huwag sabay-sabay, one at a time. Okay. Ready, set, go. Okay. Congratulations doon sa mga nakabuo. May palakpakan natin na pang, you know. Wow. Doon naman sa mga nandaraya, kunyari, nakangitigin silang gano'n, pero wala naman silang sinasabi, you should repent, you know, and ask God to forgive you. Okay, so this is a key verse, and ang susi dito, or ang pinaka emphasize natin dito yung, you should be able to give an answer. Okay, be able to give an answer. I mean, it, it's, it's fine for us to say to people, you know, meron akong hope, I believe in God, but if they would ask you, bakit, you know, so what makes you feel so confident, you should be able to explain. 
You know, one of the things na na-realize ko, lalo na sa panahon natin ngayon, as you well know, ang generation ngayon na tiyatang na Generation Z. Sino ba sa inyo mga Generation Z rito? You know? Alright? Wow, hindi nyo alam kung generation kayo? X, Y, Z. Okay, sino yung X? Generation X. Hindi nyo alam? Y. Okay. Mga millennials. Okay, mga Y. Sila yung mahilig sa Y. Y. Ganun kayo. Generation Y sila. Okay? But anyway, uh, medyo kinakabahan nga ako dyan sa mga generation, generation na yan. Kasi nasa generation Z na tayo. At ano susunod sa Z? So kawawa naman yung next generation. Wala na silang letra. Okay, so that's it. Tapos na yung, ano wala na silang aasahan. But anyway, as far as this generation is concerned, you know, then we cannot just simply assume na alam nila yung mga bagay like, you know, people like me, medyo matanda na kami na konti, you know, I'm 25, and, you know, so medyo, right, you know, medyo tanda na ako. But for those of us in that generation, marami mga bagay that we share in common, we believe in God and all of that. Pero yung bagong generation ngayon, you really have to start somewhere more basic than that. Okay? So that's why, that's why I believe, I believe, na tayo mga medyo Christian na matanda na ng konti, we should be able to explain. And not just tell people, lalo mga bata na, oh, basta trust God. Bakit? Basta. You know, trust in the Lord. Bakit nga? Ang kulit mo. Basta. You know, so we should be able to explain. Amen? So yun ang goal natin this month, na sana yung faith natin, hindi lang puro emosyon, that we are in fact able to articulate and explain our faith. Okay? And we're looking at uh, four declarations of hope. Uh, these are the declarations of hope. Number one is, no matter what happens, I'm safe in the Lord. No matter what happens, I'm safe in the Lord. Secondly, no matter how long, I'm sure of God's promises. Thirdly, uh, no matter if people reject me, and some of you feel like you have, if, uh, I'm secure in God's family. And then finally, no matter how difficult, I can still share my hope. So these are the four declarations na gusto ko na ma-internalize natin and be able to explain uh, them to anyone who might ask you about it. Okay? So, we started with the first one. And the first one is this. No matter what happens, I'm safe in the Lord. One more time, sabihin natin, no matter what happens, I'm safe in the Lord. So, let me just clarify what that means. I don't mean to say na if you are in the Lord, or Christian ka, you're a follower of the Lord, na walang masama mangyayari sa'yo, or you will be, uh, you know, protected somehow from the usual things that can happen in this world. I'm not saying that. As a Christian, just like everybody else on planet Earth, uh, there are certain things that I can There are certain things that I can experience. Ko. Ganun din kayo. We can go through trials. There are things that can happen in our lives and we don't know. Okay? I'm not, that's not the meaning of that statement. I'm safe in the Lord. It, it means whatever happens, even you mga things that might be parang bad you know, or evil, Ultimately, I know I'm safe in the Lord. Amen? That's what it means. In other words, even if I die, I'm safe in the Lord. Okay? Even if, you know, the worst thing can happen, pagtawid ko dyan, nasagasaan ako na 747, which is, you know, weird, di ba? 747, okay? But, you know, ganun ka weird, you know, nagtatawid ka dyan, nado ka sa bayan, you know, nasagasaan ka ng barko or whatever, okay? Something weird like that. I'm still safe in the Lord. Amen? I'm still safe in the Lord. He holds my life. He, so, I know each day na bubuhay ako sa mundong ito, I know I am safe in God's hands. Okay? At kung ano man yung purpose ni Lord sa akin, hindi ako mawawala sa mundong ito hanggang di tapos yun. Okay? And I'm confident in the Lord that I will be able to fulfill His purpose in my life. Of course, it depends if you're actually interested in fulfilling God's purpose in your life. Okay? Because as we will begin to see, you know, meron tayong time frame. And we cannot be parang indifferent about that and say, well, you know, I'm safe in the Lord. Sige, bahala na, you know. I'm safe in the Lord means I also have to be responsible. So that's why today we're going to talk about the next one, which is second declaration of hope. And the second declaration of hope is this. No matter how long, sabihin nyo nga pa, no matter how long, I'm sure of God's promises. Okay? Now, is that, a, that is a very relevant term, yung how long na yun, because we are living in a world kung saan a lot of things are almost instantaneous. A lot of things dito sa mundo natin is parang just a click of a button. No? Kaya a lot of people are quite impatient. Papansin niya, kahit kayo siguro, if you're buying something, may konting delay, naiinis na kayo. Okay? Konting pila, galit kayo. You know? Konting delay sa pagkain, hindi agad na i-deliver, sungit na kayo. Because we live in the world of instant. Okay? 
Uh, halos lahat ng bagay ngayon ay mabilis. Except siguro kung ang internet mo mabagal. So, gagawin ng ganun lang yung matagal, alright? But, um, almost everything, okay? It's mabilis nowadays. So, just like the previous statement, I want us to be able to understand why. Why do we say this? Why do we say na no matter how long, I'm sure of God's promises. And we're going to talk about three reasons once more. Hindi dahil pilipilit ko three reasons. It's just that, you know, nakalagay sa scripture, okay? And we're going to look at the the Word of God, particularly in 1 Peter, na doon tayo nakafocus ngayon, 1 Peter. And we're working our way from chapter 1, patungo doon sa chapter 3, where we have our key verse. In ch- chapter 3, nandun yung key verse natin, we're parang, you know, reviewing back to chapter 1, chapter 2, for us to understand yung ibig sabihin ni Peter doon sa chapter 3, verse 15, right? Kung saan sinasabi niya, be always ready to explain the hope that you have. So we ask him, Peter, what do you mean? So we go back to chapter 1 and 2 para maintindihan natin yun. Amen? So let's just pray right now and ask God to just you know, walk with us and clarify things for us para yung statement na yun, no matter how long, I'm sure of God's promises will not just be an empty statement but something that we truly believe in. Because our faith must not be based on emotions. It must be based on knowledge. At yung knowledge na yun must be based on the fact that we know, we know. I'm confident because I know. Hindi yung I'm confident because basta. You know, I'm confident because I know. Okay? Such and such is true. Alright? So let us pray. And ask God to give us today yung knowledge na yun para confident tayo in saying, no matter how long, I'm sure of God's promises. Amen? Let's bow our heads and pray. Father in heaven, thank you Lord for your uh, word that can help us to just make this statement confidently, Panginoon. So that by God's grace, hindi lang siya empty words, but they are words of faith, words of hope. So speak to us, Panginoon, today, this morning, and uh, through the Holy Spirit, Lord God, enlighten us and help us to grasp the full implication of this statement. In Jesus' name, all of God's people say amen. amen. All right, amen. So the three reasons are, number one, okay, God's promises are not limited by time. God's promises are not limited by time. Okay, when God makes a promise, it's not bound by time, it's not limited by time. Tayo, we are bound by time. Okay, we are creatures of time. Hindi rin natin ilus natin, 24 hours, may kote gabi na. Okay, so we are creatures of time. But God is not bounded by time. And this is shown specifically, you know, clearly, lalo na na, with regard to Jesus Christ or the coming of Jesus Christ and the gospel itself and how the Lord worked it out through history. Maganda matingnan natin yung nature, uh, yung nature ng scripture itself. And so for that, we need to go back to chapter 1, uh, beginning in verse 10. And we can glean some principles from here. Ito specifically, may kinalaman ito sa gospel. May kinalaman ito sa nature ng paano na-fulfill o pinulfill ni Lord. Yung sinabi niya a long, long time ago. So basahin natin, sabi, concerning this salvation. That's the topic of chapter 1. Concerning this salvation, the prophets. So yung mga tao who wrote scripture, the prophets who spoke of the grace that was to come to you, searched intently and with the greatest care, trying to find out the time and circumstances to which the Spirit of Christ in them was pointing when he predicted the sufferings of the Messiah and the glories that would follow. One whole statement telling us the nature of Scripture itself, how that is, you know, how that is accomplished. In other words, God, the Spirit, the Holy Spirit, uh, inspires yung prophets and the prophets write down something based on the inspiration of the Holy Spirit. Hindi yung parang nawala sila sa sarili nila. They are still themselves, you know. Hindi sila naging robot na parang they start writing, you know. They are still writing, fully aware, fully conscious, and yet the Holy Spirit was guiding them in what they were writing. And yet yung, what they were writing was something mysterious kasi they were writing about things that they, they would not be able to see. They would not be able to experience personally. They were writing about things that would be years, years, years later pa. Right? So they were writing, yung mga prophets, they were writing about something, and they were trying to figure out, kailan ka ba mangyayari ito? In other words, sila Isaiah, sila Daniel, Jeremiah, and all those prophets. Kilala niyo ba yung mga prophets na yun? Alright? How many of you know what I'm talking about? Yung mga prophets. Alright? Yung iba sa inyo, di wala yung prophets. Hindi yung marami ka tinita, prophets. Yan, okay? Talk about prophets, okay? So ito yung mga tao who wrote the Old Testament scripture. So they were writing things down and they were writing about the future. So I want you to understand the nature of God's promises. God was making certain promises 
about the future. He was giving those promises sa mga prophets who, was write, who were writing them down. Hindi nila alam exactly paano mag-work out ito, saan ito, sino ito. But they were just following the Lord according to the inspiration of the Holy Spirit, writing it down. And lo and behold, if you have the time, basahin niyo yung some of the prophecies about Christ sa, about, sa sulat ni Isaiah, which is about 900 or eight, yeah, 800 years before Christ, matagal na, you know. Uh, Christ was, was, was not yet born, of course. So they were writing, basahin niyo yun, and you would be amazed. You will be astounded kasi yung detalye of what Christ was going to go through, yung suffering niya, how he was going to die, all the nitty-gritty details of that uh, can actually be found in the Old Testament prophecies even though hindi pa nila nakikita si Christ. Alright? And, and they all died na, wala na sila sa planet Earth, they all died, and, and the promises of the Lord concerning the coming of the Messiah were fulfilled eventually. Kahit wala na sila dito. You see, the promises of God are not limited by time. And when God makes a promise, yan nature ng promises na, when God makes a promise, you know, and you might feel, minsan, how many of you have been praying about something and minsan feeling mo tagal-tagal ni Lord sa bagot? Diba? Parang gusto mo siya tulungan, right? Parang gusto mo siya, Lord, tulungan na katan, tagal mo eh. You know, so, let me just help you, okay? Because we feel like parang God is working in the thing, same timeline as us, but, you know, to be, to be clear about it, God is not limited by our own time bound consciousness. And when God wants to do something, it would happen in its own time. Kaya nga, there is a scripture in, in the book of Ecclesiastes na sinabi, and everything is beautiful in its time. Alright? Because God has his own time. And, and, and that is true, we say, sa mga karanasan natin, because when, when we are in the midst of something, pero iniisip natin, right there in the kailangan, sagutin ka na ni Lord. And yet, God has his own timeline. For, for instance, you know, yung, yung love story namin ni PG. <laughs> Okay. Yay! Woo! Yes, alright. So, kailangan pagbutihan ko to kasi baka mamaya, you know, problema tayo. I might be incriminated in the court of law. So, anyway, before I met my wife, my beautiful wife, my beautiful, beautiful wife, I, I went through a lot of heartbreaks, okay? So, heartbreaking ako, okay? So, in other words, I went through a lot of heartbreaks and I was praying to the God, kailan ko ba matatagpuan, you know, tumatanda na ako, and, and all of that, and well, lahat ng mga encounter ko na, ano, na girlish, lahat, medyo, you know, sablay, okay? Well, nag pray ko ng, ano, ng miss right, puro miss left na nakukuha ko, you know, so hindi nag-work out. And I was always hurt at the end of every relationship. Kaya, well, experience ako dyan, yung mga na-hurt sa inyo, you know, ask me, okay? Alam ko yan, alright? So I've been through that, and I, it was a very hurtful experience for me. Kaya nung na-meet ko yung, yung wife ko, before that, I was really praying, Asking the Lord, Lord, please, naman, you know, help me to find this person that I would be. Until finally, I give up na ako. Sabi ko, Lord, ayoko na. Wala, di ko na iintindihin yan. Wala na akong pakilam sa mga ganyan-ganyan. Basta, unahin ko na lang si Jesus. Nas, naman talaga. Spiritual talaga. Si Jesus na lang. Okay. That's why when I met my wife, to, to be, wala ako talaga interest on. My wife will can tell you that, honestly, okay. Nung na-meet ko siya, you know, pinakilala ko, hi, hello, Pastor Regina, oh, hi, hello. You know, so I was not interested. Oh, uh, uh, no, seriously, okay. Honest to, honest to, you can, you can verify this, okay. But it's because, sabi ko sarili ko, Lord, wala na talaga siya ko, tatanda na lang ako lalaki, o oh, sige, di bali na, okay lang niya, payag na ako doon. Uh, but anyway, the Lord had his, his own sense of humor, so eventually, as things work, worked out, I realized that, Pastor Gina was the one for me, okay? Right. And so, nung niligaw ako siya, wala lang, ano, maarte kaya, pakasal tayo, eh, may diretso na agad. So, yung wife ko, na-shock na talaga. Wala na yung parang, alika, mag-boyfriend, girlfriend muna tayo. Hindi, nung naligaw ako, okay, game na, kasal na, tapos bigyan, bigyan mo, tapos na, wala tayong oras, eh, okay? So, anyway, <laughs> my wife will attest to this, hopefully, this is exactly what happened to us. But anyway, looking back to that, Kasi pag nando ka sa sitwasyon, it's like parang God, where, saan, when, you know. But God has His own time. Amen? And sometimes naiinip kayo. But God is not limited by your time. Maybe naiinip ka, but God, God Himself, hindi siya naiinip. He knows when such and such would come to pass. Okay? So learn to trust God. Learn to put, let, put your hope in the Lord. Especially for those of you na hindi pa dumarating si Mr. Right at si Ms. Right. Amen? Okay? Diba sa'yo parang, palibasa, may asawa ka na, kaya mo sinasabi yan. You know? so, okay, yeah, seriously. <laughs> learn, learn to trust God, okay? 
So, ito yung nature ng scripture. They did not know exactly how things would work out, but eventually, that's what happened. So, let's move on. Therefore, with minds that are alert and fully uh, sober, okay, set your hope on the grace to be brought to you when uh, Jesus Christ is revealed at his coming. So, the cause of the Peter were Christians who were scattered everywhere, going through persecution, going through suffering and all of that. Nawawala na sila ng hope kasi asan ba yun? Asan ba sinasabi Kingdom of God? Ang tagal naman, nahihirapan na kami. So, sabi ni Peter sa kanila, remember how the Lord made promises and eventually it was fulfilled. Dumating si Christ. So now, Christ is coming. Be strong. Put your hope in the Lord. Don't lose hope because God's timing is perfect. Amen? So we, from that, we can glean yung, ano, yung principle na put your hope in the Lord kasi si, si God is not delaying. You might think He is delaying kasi gusto mo ngayon na, now na. Right? Pati yung prayer mo na, Lord, bigyan mo ako ng patience, now na. You know? So sometimes we don't understand God's way of doing things. He always has the proper or the, the, the best time. Okay? So, sabi niya ganito, sabi ni Peter, as obedient children, do not conform to the evil desires you had when you lived in ignorance. But just as he, he who called you is, uh, is holy, so be holy in all you do. For it is written, be holy because I am holy. Why is he saying that? Because when people lose their hope, pag nawala na sila sa focus of what, you know, that, that God is in control of the universe, that everything that is happening is according to his time frame, pag nawala ka na ng hope sa ganyang bagay, and you begin to just look around and see what's going on, you know, magiging resulta niya for a believer in the Lord, pag nawala siya ng hope, he will begin to just say to himself, ano ba, uh, di ba, wala, wala naman eh, right? So I'll just do whatever everybody else does. So you begin to compromise. You begin to live your life in a very irresponsible way. Kasi, hey, you know, so what? That's the danger of losing hope. Because when you have hope, when you know that even though meron delay, you know that one day, just as it is written, the Lord will come again. And he will establish his throne. And he will, you know, be able to, we, we will be able to see the Lord face to face. Darating yung time na yun. Maybe there, it's a long time. I don't know. So, mga believers, we don't need to set time like, you know, November na ba yan, December. We don't do that, okay? Because we don't know when it's, when it's going to happen. But it's going to happen. And if you have hope in the Lord, here's what, hap- here's what happens pag may hope ka sa Panginoon. You choose to do the right thing even though hindi popular yun. You choose what is, you know, pleasing to God even though hindi ka naman pinapalakpa ka ng mga tao sa paligid. Because you know, you know, you know, you know that according to ta- God's time frame, everything is happening, happening just in time. Alright? And one day, alisa dalawa, okay, we will, we will die physically and we will be face to face with God and, and the Lord will say, okay, so what have you done with all the opportunities that I've given you? And hopefully when that happens, you'll be able to say, to say to the Lord, Lord, you know, by God's grace, this is what I've done, and the Lord will say, well done, my good and faithful servant, you know? Or the Lord will return, whichever. Either pamanong na tayo, or the Lord will return, right? Yun ang sigurado. We just don't know the time. Hindi lang natin alam kung kailan yung mga bagay na yun. So therefore, araw-araw, we live our lives with a sense of purpose. Yun ang palatandaan na may hope kay. Because you're hoping, no? Lord, alam ko, darating ka, alam ko, you see what I'm doing. I know that you will reward me according to your grace. Alam ko na yung mag- pinipili ko ngayon na maybe hindi popular sa mga kaibigan ko, but I'm choosing it. I'm choosing to trust you. I'm choosing to, I'm choosing to live my life uh, for you. I'm choosing to live a life of holiness. I say no to sin because I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. One day, you will come again. And I'm sure of that. Amen? It's very important that you understand that God's promises are not limited by time. So don't say now, well, ang tagal naman ni Lord. Don't say that. The Lord can come. Anytime. Amen? Or, alin sa dalawa, it might be your time. And don't tell me, well, yan, lakas ko, may inam ako ng vitamins A to Z, you know, complete me, you know. Wala kinalaman niya, kahit na malakas ka, may, you know, if the Lord says, okay, uh, you know, tapos na ang, ano mo, ang tour of duty mo sa mundo, you know, Finish or not finish? Pass your paper? You know? Hindi mo pwede sabihin, Lord, ang ganda ko pa. Hindi, okay, sorry. You know? Or ang pogi ko pa. O, lakas ko pa. You know? So, hindi. You know? O, ang ganda pa na trabaho ko. Marami pa ako pangarap. When the Lord says, well, that's it. My child, up. Go home. 
That's why we have to live our lives with a sense of hope and purpose. Now, Lord, as you give me breath, as you give me life, I will live my life in holiness because I know one day you will hold me accountable for my choices. Amen? Are you listening, my kapatid? God's promises are not limited by time. Amen po ba? All right. Now, secondly, for us to understand, God's promises define the meaning of time. Now, what, what does time mean anyway? All right? Hindi mo naiintindihan yung tunay na significance ng time mo rito until you put it in the context of God's word. In the context of God's plan. So here's what Peter says about this para maintindihan natin to. Because some of us dito, paisi-isi tayo because we think na, well, you know, haba pa naman ang buhay ko, bata pa naman ako. That's what you think. Ganun din sinabi namin eh, di ba? Sino sa inyo medyo nasa, you know, 40s pataas na dito, taas na kamay, okay? 40s. Mami na kayo, alam naman ni Lord dyan eh. Every, you know, everything has its own time, okay? So, yeah, I remember when I was young, di ba, nang bata ako, pag sinabing basketball, laro, whatever, ah, sige lang, okay? Pag sinabing kwentuhan, puyata, ah, sige lang, alright? Pero pagdating mo ng bandang, you know, 30 to 40 na ganyan, medyo, okay, di ba, Nakag- nagagawa pa yun, pero medyo nararamdaman mo na yung limitasyon mo. Pagdating mo ng 40, pataas, pa nagbabasketball ka pa, those of you na 40 pataas, nagbabasketball, nanunulak ka na lang, nanggugulang ka na lang, because hindi ka na makatalon, okay? Pagdating mo ng mga banda, you know, pagdating mo ng mga 40, pupuntang uh, 50, okay, inaaya mo na sa tumakbo, ikaw, lakad ka na lang ng lakad, you know, hindi ka na tumatakbo, okay? Ha? O, oh, imisa na, nanonood ka na lang sa bleacher, shoot mo yan, anak, shoot mo, sa'yo yung tinuro ko sa'yo, kasi hindi ka na makashoot, okay? So, in, and those of you who are young probably don't, don't know the significance and the importance of time. Time is very important for us kasi tayo ay time-bound. The Lord is not time-bound, but we are time-bound. And the only way for us to understand the full importance of the time na meron tayo sa mundong ito is to put that in the proper perspective. Okay? So, Sorry about the several lines there. I realized na nung ginagawa, nung tinitin ako kanina, sabi ko, parang daming lines. So forgive me. Uh, on PowerPoint, usually should only have four lines. I repent. Forgive me, Lord. So anyway, uh, First Peter chapter 1, sabi dito, Since you call on a father who judges each person's work impartially, live out your time as foreigners here in reverent fear. Now listen to that. If you put that in proper con- context, Yung time mo rito sa mundong ito is only but, you know, for a while. Amen? Ang sabi ng scripture, para kang foreigner. You know, by God's grace, you know, nakakapunta kami ni PG sa, sa ibang lugar, you know, sa ibang bansa. And when we are there, it's fun, it's, you know, marami kang pwedeng punta, marami kang pwedeng kainin. But we know, we know, we know, hindi kami nakatira doon. So sooner or later, inisip namin, well, matatapos din ito, di ba? So habang kumakain kami ng mga pizza pie na ganyan kakakapal, you know, so, hindi mo masubo. Pag, so, uh, sabi, well, there will come a time, uwi na kami sa Pinas at babalik na kami sa crispy thin, you know, yung manipis, okay? So it will be reality for us, okay? So while we are there, we're enjoying it, pero sa mind namin, well, hindi rin tatagal yan, you know, may limitasyon yan. Listen carefully, my friends, for those of us who are living our lives without the awareness of the true meaning of time na meron tayo. See, God has made a promise, and he has a lot of promises to us. He will use us. We can accomplish great and mighty things. But some of us dito are wasting time. Some of us are wasting time. Because we don't understand it. We think na, well, you know, ang lakas na lakas ko naman. So I can, you know, later na yung serve, serve na yan. Later na yan, you know. You know, pag, pag may, mayroon ako mga chine-challenge dito, misa sabi nila, pastor, you know, mag- asikusuhin ko lang ito. Tatatag ko lang yung pamilya ko. G- Kagawin ko lang yung dapat kong gawin. Okay? And then maybe, pastor, wag ka mag-alala. Pagdating ko ng mga 50, 60, probably I'll serve God. Ha, ha, ha. Ha, ha, ha. And you begin to just get the surprise of your life, 40, 50, suddenly, baldado ka na. Suddenly, di ka na mga kilos. You should be thankful, those of you who are young. Amen? Bata, okay, taas ako may lahat ng bata, below 30, lahat ng mga below 30, huwag kami sinungaling yung iba dyan, you know. <laughs> Liars go to hell. Okay. Just kidding. Okay, sige. Pagbibigyan ko na kayo, alam naman ni Lord yan. Ikilala naman ni Lord yan. Pag ikaw na ka pa, 
at nakakatayo ka pa, at nakakalakad ka, okay? I mean, some of us medyo, those of you are young, okay, tatawa-tawa. Because some of us, pag tayo pa lang parang, Lord, you know, in Jesus' name. <laughs> okay? Tapos pag tayo, pag tayo namin sa kama, may mga ilang minuto pa yun. <clears throat> Okay, you're laughing, eh? You're laughing, okay. Sige. Lord, bahala na kayo sa kanila, you know. Forgive them for they do not know what they're doing, okay. But to be honest, all right, time is important. We have to value time in light of God's word and God's promises because we are creatures of time. And God's promise is true, pero it doesn't follow automatically, halimbawa, that you will be able to fulfill yung purpose ni Lord with the time that He has given you. Because some of us dito, mas gusto natin to enjoy life to the fullest, thinking that we all have the time in the world. Well, hopefully, ma-realize natin na hindi totoo yan. For you know, sabi nito, that it was not with a perishable thing such as silver or gold, that you were redeemed from the empty way of life handed down to you from your ancestors, but with the precious blood of Christ, a lamb without blemish or defect. Peter is saying to the Christians during that time, the Lord redeemed you, and the Lord saved you from a pointless, directionless, useless kind of life. And he has now given you this opportunity to live a life that is truly glorifying to God. In other words, mga kapatid, God's word and God's promises puts our time dito sa earth in its proper context. Okay? Now, I don't know how long you're going to live. I don't know how I'm going to live. You know, simply prayer natin is that, Lord, I would live a full life. Nobody wants to die young, except ang mo siguro problema. Para, Lord, patayin mo na ako. You know, except that. But seriously, kung nasa normal kang pag-iisip, parang iniisip mo, Lord, I pray that I would live a full life. Amen? Di ba? I mean, not necessarily 200 years old, you know. Pag naglalakad ka, kasabay mo ng mga dinosaur. You know, no, not, not that kind of thing, of course. But at least yung full life, full life span, whatever that may be, all right? Di ba? 80, 85, and who knows, maybe 100, you know. Baka iba sa inyo, 120. Pag naglalakad ka, yung mga lupa, nalalaglag, you know. Tapos, amoy ano ka na, you know. Amoy Loyola Park ka na, pag naglalakad ka. But, nobody knows. But every moment na meron tayo, should be used for the glory of God. Every talent na meron ka, if God is prospering you, don't ever think that you will be prosperous all the time. May pera ka ngayon, and don't ever think, wow, dami ko pera ngayon, siguro, forever na to. No, no, no. Don't ever assume that. Amen? Because you might have money now. Maybe 10 years down the line, you don't have money. And iniisip mo parang, wow, I'm going to enjoy my life ngayon, and then you maybe later, I'm going to think about supporting God's work. <laughs> maybe you don't have later. Maybe you only have now. And if you put that in proper, may, may, may mga talento kayo, may mga talents kayo, may mga gifts kayo, sabi mo, well, gamitin ko muna sa mundo ito. And then if I'm successful later on, I'm going to think about how to use my talents for the kingdom of God. Well, how sure are you na meron ka pa later na yun? Because now is the time. Now is the time. Amen. I don't want to make you feel guilty about this, but I want you to have a, the proper perspective of time. Purihin ang Panginoon. For those of you who are young, kami who are quite older right now, and I'm speaking to mga, mga ka, kaidaran ko, and some of you are just, you know, ayaw niyo tumingin sa akin pag sinabi ko kaidaran ko. Par- okay. okay, so nasa ganun level na kayo. Don't waste time. Because every moment na meron tayo is an opportunity to glorify God. Young people, stop wasting your time. Okay? Choose wisely. Live your life for God. Habang malakas ka pa, habang yung wish mo parang, di ba, ang galing-galing mo pa makapag-isip. Yung iba sa amin dito, pag nag-iisip kami, nilalagnat kami. Parang, you know, ayaw na tabakbo ng gray matter namin, okay? But some of you who are young, wow, grabe, you're so full of imagination. The only problem is that you're using it for the wrong things. Some of you are full of energy, 
Pag Sunday, alam niyo, mga kabataan, talaga naman, pagkatapos ang whole day affair dito sa church, mga ito mo, bilalakwatsahan pa yan, mga ito mo, nakapost pa yan, Minsan, kung saan sa pasila nagpupunta, mga selfies nila, alas 9, alas 10, alas, you know, alas 11, alas 12, alas 1, sige pa, you know, wala katapusan na kanilang energy. And sometimes I ask myself, Lord, how many of these people are really stewarding the energy na binibigay mo sa kanila to use it for God? To use it for the kingdom of God. And that's an important thing to realize sa ating lahat ito. Amen? Amen? It's so important. Okay. He was chosen before the creation of the world, but was revealed in these last times for your sake. Listen carefully to that statement. In these last times. In other words, ngayon, ibuhay natin, we are living in the last times. Amen? We don't know when, we don't know how, and we don't set dates dito. Kaya pag nakakarinig kayo ng mga Christian, nagsiset ng date na, Uy, darating si Kristo sa November 5. You know, okay, maniwala doon. We don't, we don't set dates. We don't know. But this is the last days. So, challenge, challenge, everybody. This is the last days. Anytime the Lord can return, or you can pass away na to eternity, what are you doing? How are you living your life? Live your life with a sense of purpose. Kapo, titignan ko yung, ano, yung mga pictures ng upbeat, and I was really excited about it. You know, wala ako dito kasi I'm doing my doctoral work, and please pray for me, apat na araw na lang, and then I'm dead. You know, it's hopefully not, you know. <laughs> Just four more days, I don't know how I'm going to accomplish it. You know, four more days, grabe, Lord. Declaration of hope, declaration of hope. Okay, so four more days. But anyway, last night, and I saw the pictures, and I said, wow, my goodness, you know. Here are some people, and I don't want to make anybody embarrassed dito, but there are some of you dito who are thinking right at sinasabi nyo, praise God, nandito ako sa trabaho ito, praise God, nandito sa school ito, praise God, nandito ako sa ito opportunity, I'm going to use it, I'm not going to waste it, I'm going to invite as many people as I can para they can hear the word of God and come to know the Lord. Hallelujah, amen. So you use that opportunity, you use that platform. Glory to God, amen. Praise the Lord. Di ba dapat gano'n? Amen po ba? So, pa sa dito parang, okay, Sunday na, atin ako, baka sabi ni Pastor, absent ako, ah, so, ah, dito ako, ah. And you don't use your time well. Minsan, buong linggo lumilipas, hindi mag-text man lang, o mag-share man lang kahit kanino. We need to just recognize the value of time. Amen? You know, yung ating uh, chatbot right now, yung RLCC Messenger, is now approaching uh, 6,000. We now about, have about 6,000 people sa RLCC Messenger receiving every day the Word of God. And so, kahit antok na antok ako, in the evening, around, you know, bis na matutulog na ako, I write a devotion, I pray to God, I said, God, itong susulat ko, sana maka-encourage ito to somebody doon sa 6,000 na yun. So I write it down, I, you know, I use my energy, kahit konting energy na lang titira ko, Kasi alam niyo naman kami mga edad, sa edad ko, di ba? Pagdating ng 9 o'clock, you know, wala na kami. But we have to write. So I write. And so I, I sometimes I check it out and I see. Nakikita ko may mga nagre-respond. Sabi niyo, praise God, salamat dito sa scripture na to. It just encourages me. Thank you. And I say, God, this is what I live for. This is the purpose of my life. And I ask you, those of you, meron ka namang time. Why don't you use it for the kingdom of God? Iba sa inyo, may smartphone. Hindi niyo naman ginagamit. For the kingdom of God. Para sa sampaya, para magtatawa, maglaro ng mga habang nandoon ka sa jeep. Use it for God's glory. Amen. Through Him, you believe in God who raised Him from the dead and glorified Him and so your faith and hope are in God. If somebody were to ask you, why do you put your hope in God? Kahit, well, you know, marami nangyayari sa paligid mo. Because I know God's ta- I know promises are not limited by time. And God's promises put time in its proper context. Maintindihan ko that my time here on earth has significance. Alright. So, finally. God's promises will transcend all time. I put my hope in God's promises kasi it's not limited by time. It defines time. But also, it transcends time. Okay. Here's God's word para sa atin. Sabi, now that you have purified yourselves by obeying the truth, I begin on, so that you have sincere love for each other, love one another deeply from the heart. My friends, because you know the value of time, because we know 
you know, na bagamat umaandar yung time na ganyan, we know that, you know, it's not parang circular na parang, you know, minsan nasa taas, minsan nasa baba, gulong ng buk, gulong ng palat, you know. What, what the Bible is saying is that time is moving forward according to God's agenda. So when is the time to love people? Now. When is the time to love your parents? Now. When is the time to say to your brothers and sisters, I love you with the love of the Lord? Kailan magagawin yun? Now. Kailan ka magsuserve sa kapwa mo? Now. Kailan ka tutulong sa mga nangangailangan? Now. Amen. Because we have put our hope in the Lord. And then sabi nito, for you have been born again. Okay? Uh, not of perishable seed, but of imperishable through the living and enduring word of God. The word of God, the promises of God is enduring. Which means na walang time frame ito. Alright? At sabi rin dito sa scripture, for all people are like grass. Hindi yung grass na galit si Duterte ah. I mean, really grass, right? And all their glory is uh, like the flowers of the field. Kay gaano ka kaganda ngayon. I mean, darating ang time magsasag pa rin, magsasag yung pisngi mo, okay? I mean, ngayon ang ganda-ganda mo, darating ang araw wala ka na ring iipin. You know, this is face it, okay? Ngayon, mga 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 guys dito, pogi-pogi niyo, di ba? Matipuno kayo, you know, balang araw hindi kayo makadiretso because that is the nature of human existence. The flowers of the like the flowers of the field, the grass withers, and the flowers uh, fall. But the word of the Lord endures forever, and this is the word that was preached to you. So why am I confident? Kain matagal and everything, because I know the word of God is not limited by time. I know that the word or the promises of God defines my existence dito ngayon on earth. I know that there is a reason why I still live. And I know that the word of God is forever. So I know na napakahalaga that I share God's word, napakahalaga that other people know about God's word. One day, mawawala na ako dito and a new generation will be here and I hope and pray na ROCC would always stand for the word of God. And we would always do everything in our, in our ability, lahat ang pwede natin gawin, to share the word of God to as many people as possible. I'm so thankful to the Lord sa mga campus ministers natin right now kasi nare-reach nila yung mga campuses and they're sharing the word of God. Alam ko kulang na kulang sila sa mga workers but praise God for those who volunteer. Ang dami mga tao who need the word of God. Amen? In fact, I'm so shocked. Nasi-shock na ako eh. Pag tinitingnan ko yung numero dun sa RLCC Messenger na every day about 100 people are joining and, you know, and then minsan nag i drop ako kasi uh, because I'm, I'm the administrator. So minsan titignan ko kung yung mga sinasabi nila, pati sa mga chat room. And I'm just amazed yung mga tao, isa lang, consistent na parang they want the word of God. They need the word of God. They want to know God's purpose for their lives. We must be a church. Nang priority natin is to spread the good news everywhere. Amen? We are not here sa mundong ito para ma-enjoy lang natin ang word of God para sa sarili natin. We are here para maging conduit tayo, para maging channel tayo so that others may know about God and about His will for their lives. Marami mga tao that I will never ever reach, pero kayo, you will be able to reach them. Amen? Marami mga tao na hindi ko kilala, pero kilala ninyo. Marami mga tao na kaya-kaya nyo i-reach out because kaibigan nyo sila, may relationship kayo sa kanila. Ako hindi. Pag ako nang himasok sa buhay nila, feeling nila pa kailan meron ako because they don't know me. Pero kayo, you are a friend. You are a relative. You are a brother, a sister. You know, whatever it is. Nandun yung opportunity meron tayo. Yesterday, I was invited to speak sa AGS sa mga magulang. And I'm thankful to Sister Eden and Brother John who made it possible for me to go back to AGS kasi matagal na ako din nakakapoto sa AGS. But as I was, I was standing there and I was sharing the word of God sa mga magulang, and I realized, I wow, praise God for opportunities like that. You may not be a preacher like me, pero lahat tayo dito can do our part to make sure that the word of God is spread. Amen? Sa mga simpleng mga postings natin, o kaya yung isishare mo lang yung nakikita mo mga posts, we can be part of this movement of letting people know that God loves them and God cares for them and He has a wonderful plan for their lives. May darating na panahon, di ba? Alam natin yung kanta, di ba? Tatanda. 
at lilipad din ako. Ngunit merong salita ng Diyos <laughs> na iiwan ko sa iyo. Let's live our lives for God's glory. Amen? God's promises gives us that kind of hope. So once more, mga kapatid, let's say this together again. No matter how long, I'm sure of God's promises. No matter how long, I'm sure of God's promises. I will live by it. I will share it. You know, I will let it define my life here on earth. I would let the word of God be the center and the focus of my agenda. I would let God's word tell me what is right, what is wrong, what is true. I would let the word of God give direction sa buhay ko. The word of God is the light unto my path. The word of God gives me a sense of true north. So brothers and sisters, stop wasting time. Amen? Sabi mo sa katabi mo, stop wasting time. Okay? No matter how long, I'm sure of God's promises. Amen? So those of you na medyo naiinip, parang ang tagal ni Lord sumagot, meron ba rito mga ganon? Parang feeling mo, Lord, matagal ko na pinapipray si ganyan. Di ba, alam niyo yun? Sino siya mo yung pray ng ibang mga tao sa buhay niya? How many of you are praying for some people in your life? Okay? Or some situation. Di ba? Kung di man people, siguro situation mo sa family mo, you're praying para Lord, kaya... You know, sa so umpisa talaga, you're praying fervently, right? So umpisa parang, Lord, please, liiligtas mo siya, isave mo siya, oh God, you know. Pagkalipas ng panahon, Lord, please. Pagkalipas ng panahon, Lord, you know. Pagkalipas ng panahon, bahala ka na, Lord. You know? so, <laughs> sometimes you lose hope. Don't lose hope. Kasi no matter how long, I'm sure of God's promises. Will you stand up right now?